Have you ever been watching a movie and suddenly get the munchies? Or sitting on your sofa watching TV and suddenly get the irresistible urge to buy a new car? If so, you may be the victim of subliminal advertising. Proponents of this conspiracy theory include Wilson Brian Key, author of Subliminal Seduction, and Vance Packard, author of The Hidden Persuaders, both of whom claimed that subliminal messages in advertising were rampant and damaging. Though the books caused a public outcry and led to FCC hearings, much of both books have since been discredited, and several key studies of the effects of subliminal advertising were revealed to have been faked. The birth of subliminal advertising as we know it dates to 1957, when a market researcher named James Vickery inserted the words eat popcorn and drink Coca-Cola into a movie. The words appeared for a single frame, allegedly long enough for the subconscious to pick up, but too short for the viewer to be aware of it. The subliminal ad supposedly created an 18.1% increase in Coke sales and a 57.8% increase in popcorn sales. Subliminal marketing is a form of marketing that uses absolutely intentional messaging, sounds, or visuals to get a specific point across to those viewing the ad. Example, in the late 90s and early 2000s, Many professional sporting organizations and regulatory bodies expressed concern about the prevalence of cigarette advertising in formula racing. Until that point, virtually all of the world's top drivers raced in cars emblazoned with cigarette brand logos. But the sudden ban on cigarette company sponsorship in Europe precipitated an exodus of cigarette brands leaving the sport. To circumvent this inconvenient restriction, the marketing team at Marlboro came up with a dastardly ingenious idea. They would use subliminal visual messaging to convey the Marlboro brand without using the typographical logo of the company itself. Marlboro accomplished this by using a barcode style design that, at the high speeds at which F cars travel around the track, was almost as recognizable as the logo itself. The effectiveness of subliminal advertising is still up for debate, and it's been illegal in the UK, America, and Australia since 1958. Do you believe the effects of subliminal advertising?